Hello and welcome to the next video in the MeanStack.js how-to series. In this video we're going to talk about standard JS now. We have just completed running in the previous videos running npm test, basically all the tests at once. Then individually looking at Karma, Mocha, and Nightwatch. And now the last uh, part of testing is standard JS. And it's not testing in the sense of like we're writing test cases against it. It's more in the sense of a test to see that you're following the standard. And go figure, it's also named standard JS, but that is <laughs> that is the name of the style. Um, it is what we have adopted here. And we also really like to use it because we're gonna show you in this video how you can start developing a little bit and you can test really quickly. There are no lint files, there's no JS hint files, there's none of that stuff. It is gonna be just Try to code, run the uh, npm run standard, and then it alerts you, or you can go back and also you'll see my Sublime plugin. But let's get started here. So first I wanted to note that uh, you can come over to the wiki page testing and look at npm uh, install globally standard. You can just run it with just run standard or run npm run standard. And so we're going to run that first just to show you, hey, it works just fine. And there's no errors right now, which is great. I also want to note that you can go to standardjs.com and look more in depth into the rules and how it all works and uh, how they came up with it and where they're going with it. We uh, completely agree with how they're where they're going with it and where it's at, so we use it here. If you have any questions on it, feel free to reach out to us here at uh, at the mean stack JS or anyone there if you got any questions on standard uh, I know they're really resourceful and really helpful so let's now go look over and let's go change some code so you can see what type of error it's going to show so first off I want to show you that you can also download the sublime plugin they have which I have and I use regularly with development, it really speeds up uh, the development process for me because now I don't have to mess with style, which generally bogs me down a little bit, or it used to, it doesn't anymore, especially with this uh, Sublime package. So you see it has some red marks over it and I can click over here and it says extra semicolon and tells me exactly where it is. Well, if I do a control save, it's just gonna remove them and boom, it's already in stand, it's already in style, ready to go. There are some things that when you do a control save, it won't format and save for you. So let's go right to one. Let's just write something down here at the bottom. I think earlier I did a try catch and I do believe, yeah, this will do it because they're gonna want if I have an error coming through, they, they're gonna, it's gonna want me to handle it. It's part of the standard. And yet, or even spacing. Okay, not proper spacing. Either way, we got a red dot. It's not going away even on save, so now we'll be able to go back to the, the command line and see it. So let's run the npm run standard again. And here it goes, and it threw back a error. And it appears, oh, let's see what it says on it. Actually, I'm just going to run standard just so you can see. It doesn't always print back an error message like that. It did that specifically because of the way we're running the script and the way it exited. But if you just run standard, it'll just have the output and tell you. So you see it says users, Humphrey, documents, repo, mean stack, server, mean, JS, line 672. Expected spaces after the catch. So let's do that. Let's hit a save. Let's see if it gets rid of everything. All right, good, it did. So now we could come back here, rerun it. Nothing, and you'll see I'll run the npm run standard again and it won't give a big old error or nothing like that because it didn't exit with a one or two or ex exit in some way it didn't expect. Uh, but that's because of the way we're running it from the scripts, that's how it handles it. But if you want to run it 
uh, yourself with standard that works so it doesn't give any big error messages but as you see it's really useful to use especially when developing you don't even have to think about it. you can just save and it will format everything it can and what it can't the command line tool will tell you or you can hover over and find for yourself so that's it for this video if you have any questions feel free to comment below or reach out to us and ask any questions you got